Hello folks and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. In this video we're going to talk about uh, ventilation and more specifically attic ventilation and uh, just you know tell you the about the importance of uh, having proper ventilation and some of the things that you have to watch out for when you uh, do renovations to these homes. So if you've been following uh, following us on this project uh, you know that we've uh, decided to uh, change the look of this roof by adding this overhang. So the main reason for the overhang uh, for, for our purposes is to change the look. We want this to look more like a house than a mobile home. And uh, there's a couple of other side benefits of this as well. Uh, the overhang uh, also uh, gives us some protection on the wall. It uh, helps to shade the wall from the sun. Also gets the water off the wall so that uh, we, we keep help to keep the wall dry. But this also gives us an opportunity to improve the, the attic ventilation in the home. So attic ventilation is, is important. Uh, you want to have uh, you know, lots of air movement up, up in there. And uh, the, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a few benefits to that. Uh, number one, if you have uh, air moving through there in the, in the hot summer heat, uh, it can help to cool the attic. So if the attic is cooler, it helps to uh, you know, reduce the cooling costs in the home itself. In the winter time, you can have uh, warm, moist air you know, getting through cracks and crevices into the attic and what can happen is that warm, moist air can condense on, on the underside of the roof and cause it to, uh, you know, to co get con condensation and cause it to get wet. Uh, with the wet comes a chance of mold, uh, it also uh, can deteriorate your framing members and uh, you, so you, it's something you want to try to avoid. Also a lot of your shingle manufacturers require uh, good attic ventilation uh, for the warranty uh, on the shingle to be effective and, and valid. So a lot of good reasons to have proper ventilation in a, in a home. So originally uh, these, these mobile homes uh, mostly for the most part you're going to see a lot of this uh, no overhang thing and uh, you know it's uh, they do that I think mainly for cost uh, sometimes they will put a little bit of an overhang at the front but you know f for most of the time you're going to see no you're going to see no overhangs and the the uh, it's the way they ventilate the attic space in this is just they space this they put this little gap between the uh, the fascia and the home and up inside that gap there's a they put a little kind of a filter uh it's a, kind of a mesh it's a fiberglass mesh and i'll show it to you over here and so this is you can see that mesh there and that mesh is what is intended to keep bugs and stuff out well you can see you know it, it's not much of a crack there and uh, what happens over time, uh, you know, that thing gets plugged up, that mesh gets plugged up with dirt. Uh, here we had just a pile of wasps nests in there and it effectively, you know, shuts off the insulation or the uh, ventilation from, you know, from the attic. Um, another thing that, you, that happens a lot of times when people renovate these homes is they will, you know, put some kind of siding on top of the original siding very common to put vinyl siding and if you put vinyl siding on you're going to terminate it with a with a vinyl J trim which is what we have here now you can see that if you put this vinyl J trim on it's going to totally you know seal off that that little gap there which effectively stops all your ventilation into the attic So by putting the <clears throat> by putting the uh, overhang on, what we've done is we've you know completely opened that up. You can see that you can see the large gap in there that the air can move through the attic. And we will be putting this perforated aluminum soffit material on the underside of the soffit up there. 
and so the air will travel through these perforations and then through the attic so you can see that you know that's uh, it's going to create a lot more uh, volume of air that can go through there so basically the the way the ventilation works is it it's it basically ventilates itself it's and it's it works by convection so the air uh, moves it's drawn in through these soffit vents through that perforated aluminum uh, soffit material and then it's drawn in and exits up through the roof it's through the through the top of the roof and it's so it draws in from both sides of the building towards the peak of the building So an important part of the ventilation system is your is your soffit vents, and then also your uh, your roof vents, and they have to work together in in combination with each other. So on this home previously there was no there was no uh, roof vents up on the top for ventilating the attic. It was uh, just the, the uh, those little cracks along the fascia board there down on both sides. Um, quite often you will see a ridge vent, uh, which is a vent that goes continuously along the ridge that air can move through and uh, gets drawn up then from, from both sides of the building, so both, both eaves, and then it would draw up and then come exit out the uh, attic through the ridge vent. So we didn't have a ridge vent, uh, and I'm not a big fan of ridge vents. Uh, they can be problematic as far as leaking and stuff goes. So what we've done is we've installed these these uh, these roof vents. And so here's one here, and you can see we've installed five of them along the, the peak here. So here's another one. Another one here and then another couple down there. So now the idea of this is that the air will be drawn by convection through the outside uh, soffit panels, those aluminum per perforated soffit panels. It'll move through the attic and then exit out through here. So that'll take your hot air in the summertime and get it out of your attic. And in the wintertime, it takes that warm, moist air. So for where we are, there's actually a code on, on ventilation and uh, this 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 mobile home didn't meet that code so we uh, you know we've changed the the ventilation here to to meet that code and what it is is uh, the code states here that for every 300 square feet of of uh, floor space you have to have a square foot of ventilation space and that's a combination of those soffit vents and the roof vents and you can never have too much ventilation uh, so you it's better to be on uh, you know having too much than not enough so basically the, the gist of this is that we want to see the ambient temperature the ambient temperature in the attic you know, as close to the outside temperature as possible um, which means in the in the summertime you know we want to have it uh, cooler because typically it's hotter in the attic than it is outside and in the winter time, we want to have it. We want to have it uh, not so. We want to get rid of that. We want to have it more on the cold side, uh, so that we can avoid that condensation. Same kind of thing kind of applies to the crawl spaces in in these homes. Um, a lot of people have the idea that you know you want to seal up that crawl space and insulate it and make it tight, tight as possible to keep it warm. Um, from from my perspective, I, I don't agree with that. Um, I treat my crawl spaces as similarly to my attic spaces, and that I you know try to create enough ventilation in there to keep them uh, you know well ventilated and have uh, you know temperature as close to the to the outside temperature as possible. Um, I don't like sealing them up. I, I like to get, again, there's warm, moist air underneath there. And you just, you know, you want to get that out. Uh, I, you don't want warm, moist air in there. So uh, that's ventilation in a, in a nutshell. And you really have to be careful on uh, these mobile homes that, like I say, that you don't, you don't uh, mess them up. If you just go ahead and put uh, 
that vinyl siding on you know on uh, on the on them to uh, as a remodel thing you can effectively seal your attic and create yourself a lot of problems uh, especially in the winter time if you live in a climate where you have uh, you know colder weather okay so thanks for watching folks we'll see you on the next one